The Biden administration is making a big investment in new technology to help combat climate change. The U.S. will fund giant direct air capture vacuums in Texas and Louisiana aimed at sucking out greenhouse gas emissions from the atmosphere. This is the kind of thing that sounds like a joke, right? Is this a parody? I'm wondering, are we out of ideas as far as just putting less CO2 into the atmosphere? But explain for us how this works. So at this point, I wouldn't be too hopeful, but um, you know, this is a technology that was very much on the fringe not too long ago, and it just seemed absurd, the idea of building these giant vacuums, like industrial scale vacuums to, to suck carbon from the air because it takes so much energy to run these vacuums and right. you know the 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 economy of scale still is, is is hard to figure out so how much is this going to cost uh the first two are getting 1.2 billion dollars in grants i think there's 3.5 billion total allocated but that's just the start because you know that's grant money and then if this carbon can be captured successfully uh, there would be tax credits for capturing the carbon. How unseemly are they? <laughs> you know, I mean, what? You know, they're, it's industrial machinery, so yeah. they look like massive fans. Um, you know, you, you you wouldn't want one in your backyard. Um, they tend to be in places like, you know, they could be in an industrial park or the one uh, that they're building in Texas, for example, is um, in the Corpus Christi area, which is a big petrochemical uh, industrial area where they're building it. And Evan, you kind of alluded to this. It, it seems like just human desperation because we're out of ideas. A UN panel found, or I guess warned, that these vacuums are, quote, technologically and economically unproven, especially at scale, and pose unknown environmental and social risks. Yikes. Yeah, I mean, this, yeah, the, uh, you know, you, you just need to look outside to know the situation is desperate. And, you know, we're, we're way behind where we need to be in terms of cutting emissions, in terms of transitioning away from fossil fuels. And so we're looking at these these other kind of moonshot ideas that are, uh, you know, they, they do give a sense of the desperate point we're at. Um, you know, on the other hand, the technology for some of these things, they just seem like they couldn't work and were ridiculous maybe 10 years ago. There's a case to be made that they can be part of a solution. But, you know, on the flip side, there's worry that people will see, oh, OK, they're just going to put these giant vacuums out there and suck the emissions out and we can go on living as we've been living. And so there's worried these technologies that don't really even work yet uh, are going to give people a sense of complacency that, you know, there's a technological solution to this and lifestyles don't need to be changed. And this is getting figured out when it really is. Good right. point. Evan, thank you. Thanks, Evan. What? You know, there.